comments made by George Allen Kelly at the scene of Gabriel Quinn Budamea's body on Kelly's ranch stand out to the sergeant who was there. Kelly is charged with second degree murder in Budamea's shooting death. 13 News reporter J.D. Wallace is live in Nogales after evidence from that day was examined in court. J.D. Ashley, Sergeant Omar Rodriguez and a deputy walked with Kelly to where he found Budimea's body on his ranch, and the sergeant found a statement by Kelly about rigor setting in to be odd. The boots, gloves, and jeans of George Allen Kelly were each brought out of their packaging in court today, and a DPS forensic scientist testified no blood was found on those items. The jacket of Gabriel Quinn Buidamea had evidence of blood, and that was confirmed. Kelly's AK-47 was also shown in court since it was tested for Kelly's fingerprints. Rodriguez showed Buidamea's backpack, which he had to cut the straps in order to remove from Buidamea's body. The size of the pack has been in question to suggest whether Buidamea was a migrant or a trafficker. No weapons or drugs were found inside. The sergeant said that when Kelly first walked with him to Buitimea's body, he said rigor was starting to set in, which suggested that Kelly touched the body. The sergeant also noted Kelly seemed nervous, but not about others possibly being on his property at that point. I felt during the, my assessment of the, of the area that he was more concerned about giving me or us as deputies an explanation of why the person was dead instead of uh, being uh, scared of his surroundings. He never asked about somebody coming to us or uh, being um, worried that somebody would approach with a firearm. No, no comments of that nature were made. The sergeant also noted that Kelly said, mentioned something about having a medical background and that the wound suggested the bu bullet had punctured the lung and the heart. Now, the sergeant is expected to return to the stand tomorrow morning for cross-examination by the defense. Reporting live from Nogales, J.D. Wallace, 13 News.